have to sleep last night and now I'm not feeling well and I have to get up and go to work. And I had a really disturbing dream last night and I'm not going to go into detail of it right now. If I remember it when I get home, I'll tell you. It was pretty awful. I hate my brain sometimes. Okay, so I am home from work now. Today was a shorter day, much nicer than the rest of the week. Work's just going much better than it has been this past week, so today was a good day. Now, it's been a whole day since I had my dream. I'm gonna try and remember as much of it for you as I can. And it might not even seem that bad now, who knows. In my dream last night that I woke up all disturbed from was I, in the dream, I was messaging this guy on an online dating site and we decided we wanted to meet each other. So I went to another town with my friend and was hanging out with her for the day and I was supposed to meet up with him. So I was texting him like, I'm here, let me know when you're available and where we're gonna meet. And I wasn't really hearing anything from him. And like hours later he texted me and said, hey, um, I've drank quite a bit and I just got in a fight with my roommate. I don't think I can get together or it's not a good idea for us to get together. And in my dream, me being super smart and super wise about everything, I was like, oh no, he needs me to take care of him. We should go, we should go see, see how he's doing. And so my friend and I go to this guy's apartment. He's not there. And then while I'm there in his apartment, I realize that he's a family friend of my cousin's. And so I'm like, oh, he's not too bad that's fine whatever and then I also find out that he's living in the same house building apartment thing as my RA or Dean Don whatever they're called you know when you're in residence the person who's the head of the residence your floor or building or whatever I found out she was living in the same building apartment room thing as him and so that made me go oh yeah he's probably fine like this is not a big deal and we're sitting in their living room and then my friend looks out the window and she's like, uh, he just drove into your car, like completely totaled it. And I looked out and my car was completely smashed, flipped over and crunched in half. And I was like, uh oh, this isn't good. So he got there and he was definitely not in a good mindset. Obviously he'd been drinking. Yeah, he was just not good and a bunch of things happened I don't really remember exactly what but all the sudden kids from where I worked were there so like little two and a half to three year olds were there and he was getting really like angry and started like attacking people and he attacked one of my kids I tried to intervene and during the time that I was trying to intervene I had been trying to contact my parents to say hey I don't have a car anymore can you come pick me up. So I was about to leave a voice message when he started attacking one of my kids and so I jumped in between and so he started attacking me and then I passed out and then in the dream I woke up the next day and it was morning and it was like all of a sudden everything was calm and normal. It was really weird and then my dad had all of a sudden like he had just gotten there the next morning. I don't know how any of us knew where this guy lived in the first place but anyways. My dad was there and I was freaking out. I was like, dad, this is all that happened. He totaled my car. He got really drunk and angry. He was attacking little children. He attacked me. And then we're inside and then the guy's mom was there. And we were like sitting down trying to have a discussion about what happened the night before. And I was like, you are messed up. You need help. And he was trying to flip the whole thing on me saying that I had done it all. I was the one drunk doing everything. And if anyone knows me, which you guys don't, but if anyone knows me, I don't like alcohol, I think it tastes yucky, and I don't like the effects it has on my head, so I hardly ever drink. I will have a social cider every once in a while, or maybe a cooler in the summer, but other than that, I don't really drink. Um, but anyway, so he's trying to attack me, and then I found out that one of my the little girls I take care of had gone missing, and she had been at his house that night, and so it was very scary and there's like a videotape of her and she's like in some room and she looked so disoriented and messed up and like not good for a little three-year-old to be kidnapped and locked up. I woke up around then and I was just so disturbed like my entire body like hated the dream and was so disturbed by the dream so anyways that's what happened in my dream. I hope I never dream anything like that again and I don't think I will online date anymore terrifying. Dreams are so bizarre. I wish I understood them more 
why we dreamed, why we dream certain things, do they mean anything, all that stuff. Man, if I could bring back any one person from the dead, it would be Joseph from the Bible. Because he could interpret dreams. Because I've had some really messed up dreams, like the one I just talked about, that I would really like to understand what they meant. So, yeah. That was my dream. And now I'm home. And I think I'm going to call my best friend. Because she's going through a rough time. And then... We'll see... What I do the rest of the evening. I might make more of a video. I might not. If not, then I'll see you later. Okay? Bye!